Oh, oh, where is he? Oh, what are we going to do? Ugh. Here comes the when I got again. to the scene of the crime, I knew it had to be the work of the evil smell switcher. Little monster, private eye here. Oh, thank goodness you're here. So, the orange juice smells like peanut butter, and the peanut butter smells like orange juice. Uh, yes! Someone must have switched the smells last night at the sleepover. Mm -hmm. So don't leave town, any of you. You're all suspects in the smelly mystery. What? Yeah! Hey, if you want to find out more about each of the suspects, click on the magnifying glass. Okay, zip. I'll do that for later. But first... Nothing's happening. Come on. Wait. Huh, Jetson sound. What? Just testing out my anti-gravity watch, Chief Inspector. Huh. I'll have everything back in its proper place in a jiffy. Why does everything look intact? It sounded like a crash. Chief Inspector, there seems to be something on the fridge. Here we go. Aha, a clue. It appears to be a handprint. I'll take a picture of it with my super duper infrared spy camera. Yup. Isn't it Chief Draft. Inspector and a detective the, handprint the same is blurry. thing? Looks like this clue is a real question mark. Don't worry, Chief Inspector. I'll send the film to the lab. Ah, yeah. We should have a clear photograph of it days. by the end of the day. Back when you would Good do it idea, on film detective. Instead of digital now smile memories. and say cheese. Cheese, <laughs> Chief Inspector. Uh, yeah, I remember working with those old film cameras back when I was in high school and I took a photography class. Let's look inside the fridge. Hmm. I wonder if there's any good food, I mean evidence, in the fridge. I think I'll investigate. Of course we shall, old chap. I know, it's... Here comes a ZZ Top parody! Here comes the, a parody of the Marx Brothers. It's Groucho. Knock, knock. Who's there? Butter. Butter who? Butter not turn around. Harpo! Time to make the honey. <laughs> oh, it's a worker bee. Alright. That wasn't real funny. Okay, that was a little generic. Hello, man! What? What do you get when you cross a cat and a lemon? It's the original a sour piss. I don't know. What do you it's get? The original when you cross annoying a cat orange. And a, lemon? a sour piss. Annoying orange juice in this case. Oh, grow up. Yeah. They also do the banana and orange <laughs> joke, but that takes a while, so I'm not gonna show it. I can show you what's in here. How do you do? I'm here to introduce the amazing Wonder Vac, the same vacuum cleaner the astronaut Not used. interested! Hey, I'm not finished yet. I know, but you're a salesman. Hey, do you mind? Close that door! There's a Transformers. Not, not this one. Mi café es muy bueno. He said, huh. my coffee is very good. It's a parody the... of that coffee company commercials. 
Let's see. Here comes the Transformers parody. This runs for a little while. I, Toastar, shall rule the kitchen, and no one can stop me. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Perculator, I'd like to make a toast to your destruction. Have a slice of my whole wheat badness. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. Now taste some freshly brewed justice. You may have won this round, Perculator, but I'll pop up again when you least expect it. I'll always know when trouble is brewing because justice is always wide awake. <laughs> okay, now let's see them all do different stuff. Hey, Jerry, what's that you're eating? Peanut butter and cheese. Ew. Oh, let me try some of that. Mmm, cheese. Hey, make your own sandwich. Okay. Woo! Hanna Barbera Zap Zap Sand. Woo! Oh. Hey, Erg, that's my cake. Uh, sorry, Jerry. Be careful how much of that stuff you use, Icky. It's very hot, you know. I know, dude. I like living on the edge. Uh, he's gonna get in trouble someday, that Icky. Mm -hmm. Oh! Nothing caught fire. Oh! Radical! Again with the outdated radicals! <laughs> little Laugh wasn't like this little monster at school. He's more of the ape. But here's another little prank of his. Yowie! Yeah, would you like some jam, huh? Mm, yeah. Thank you, little Raph. Oh, yeah. I know this trick. <laughs> I remember testing that out at the joke shop once when I was getting my dad his Christmas present. Going one of those funny little telemarket repellent thingies. <laughs> Detective, look out! <laughs> thank you, Chief Inspector. You almost had the jump on me. Almost looked like a little spy versus Don't thank spy me, theory. Detective. Thank my trusty boomerang hat. Thank you, trusty boomerang hat. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next page, then. Orange juice, please. Mm -hmm. Ah, the old Hanna-Barbera gulp mm. scent. The Orangey. With a subtle hint of peanut butter. With the ugle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Peanut butter, please. Okay. This is starting to make me a little hungry. It's stuck. Huh, they use the sound of a stone dropping. I just don't understand it. Why would anyone switch the smells? That, Mrs. Yalapapis, is exactly what we're going to find out. Mm -hmm. Detective Kerplopis, we must go. It is time to put our noses to the grindstone, as they say. The original right book here, version. Chief Inspector. Oh, there's his catchphrase. Right y'all, Chief Inspector. Okay, so as I said, the book this is based off of Four Monster Scratch and Snip Mystery was quite different from this. Especially Detective the ending. Detective Kerplopis and I went back to the office to review the case. And now, Detective Kerplopis, let's start with the suspects. Ahem. <clears throat> well, Chief Inspector, since the crime happened during the sleepover, it must have been committed by someone who was there. Therefore, the suspects would include the following. Laser pointer. Little Laugh. Icky. Jerry Bombanat. Erg. Yally. And yourself. Yep. 
Me, I'm afraid so. He's one of the six As suspects, you yourself but he never say. ever Chief does Inspector, it. Everyone is guilty until proven innocent. No, it's the other way yes, around. You are right. That is what I always say. That is why I am the Chief Inspector. Okay. Answer the phone. Hi, this is Little Monster, Private Eye. We can't come to the phone right now uh. because we're on a case. But leave a message after the beep. And we'll get back to you. Thank you. Hello. I'm looking for Sally Kramer. Huh? Nobody there by that name, huh? <laughs> Let's see. I got a delivery here for Little oh, Monster. Sound quality's That's bad. That's me. I'll take that. It's like... Like that line was recorded in okay, a bathroom. Okay, fellas, gotta go. I'm double parked. You got yourselves a nice day. What a peculiar fellow. Hmm. I wonder who could be sending me flowers. Oh. Perhaps you have a secret admirer. Oh no. It's gotta be. Why don't you read the card? It's gotta be something bad. I don't think there is. Ah! Oh, what's that awful smell? Eh. Ugh. The flowers. They smell like rotten eggs. It's the sulfur. Quick. The window. This evil smell switcher is more dangerous than we thought. We'll have to stay on our toes, Detective. Like walking on eggshells, Chief Inspector. Okay. I reckon I ain't never seen this here place before, Sawyer Jim. Oh, I ain't neither. But, 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 I, I scare. I scare too. Close the book, quick. Okay, what's this do? Okay. Here's looking at you, kid. <sighs> oh, it's like Bogart. Okay, let's review the suspects. Suspect number one. Little Lap. Yep. Monsterville's resident practical joker. And quite a good one at that. Hand buzzers. Acme's biggest seller. Water buckets. You name it, Little Laugh has done it. Mm. He's always looking to top himself, making each joke he plays better than the last. And switching the smells in Monsterville would be quite the practical joke indeed, Chief Inspector. Yes, indeed, chum. Okay, in the book version, it was Little Laugh. But, but the ending was quite different compared to the game. But like I said, it could be any of those five. And I say that because Little Monster does not count. Okay. Suspect number two, Erg. Erg has been a rebel since the day he hatched. Hatched? He talks tough, oh, right. dresses it's cool, so and is always looking for trouble. He also has a passion for food. Always wanting to try something new, something different. And what could be more different than food that smells like something else? Right on, detective! Suspect number three. Icky's his name, and danger is his game. Icky spends his time engaged in high-risk sports, like surfing, rock climbing, and snowboarding. He thirsts for the syrupy yeah, nectar of adventure like and would do anything to taste it. Even resort to a crime, like switching smells. Exactly. Mm -hmm. hmm, let's see. Here's another obvious suspect. Attempt. Suspect number four, Gerard T. Bombanac, chemistry buff, scientific genius. Ooh, I think I Winner of the Monsterville Elementary Science Fair five years in a row. Oh, so if anybody, school. he would be the most so capable of creating the smell switching device. Voices, Perhaps he intends to use the smell switching device as his entry to this year's fair. Mm -hmm. He'd be guaranteed to get his hands on another medal. If he's the smell switcher, the only medal he'll be getting his hands on is that of my handcuffs. Uh. Uh, here's a weird one. Suspect number five. Yally Yallapapas. <laughs> Yally may look like a donut on the outside, but he sure isn't stuffed with jelly. Yally has always desired to live the life of a secret agent. He's seen every James Bombinet film ever made. 
And he fancies himself to be quite the master of disguise. Kind of like me sometimes. Perhaps he's through playing pretend. And his secret mission is to mix up the smells of Monsterville. Correct again, old friend. At some point you could tell that little monster and Kirby are voiced by the same guy. It's pretty good for the accent. I don't see how you possibly <laughs> think I had anything to do with this, Detective. But I'd like to hear your theory. I must say, I was quite a cute baby. Indeed, Chief Inspector. Now, if you will allow me to explain. Quite frankly, we haven't had a case in months. Ah. Not since we were hired to find Mrs. Peavis's cat. Huh. Perhaps this smell-switching mystery is just a scheme you cooked up to give yourself something to do. Ooh. Well, I'm impressed, Detective. Very good reasoning indeed. It seems I do have a motive. Although I assure you of my innocence, I will allow you to entertain your thoughts. It's good practice for you, Detective. Mm -hmm. Whoa! What the? Hey! I never saw this before! Huh. Let's see. Recycling message. Just so we need. It's not much. One, two, three, four. Oh, now let's good. pump a little more. Five, six, seven, eight. My big muscles are really great. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I am the envy of the puny shelf. Oh, hey, that was great. Yes, very impressive. Very nice. Wow, he's big. Wax the car. Ooh, Hanna Barbera magic sound. Leaf blower. Boy, what a nice day for a picnic. You bet, dear. <laughs> hey, Dad, are you almost there yet? <laughs> nope, I'm gonna get this green here. Hey, wait, oh, the wind. Very strong wind. Hold on, wait, kid. Woo, this is fun, Dad. Huh? Achoo! Crew, that was close. Is everyone okay? Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Crew, okay. Let's go and try by the bird bath. Maybe it's less windy back there. Good <laughs> idea, Dad. Good thing I brought my swing trunks. Hmm. Hey, Hosey. A joke. Yes. You're gorgeous. Hmm. hmm. You're all wet. That's not. Wow. You electrify me. What's in here? Volleyball. Okay. Hey, it's getting dark. Eh, nothing special there. Hey. Hey, Kerplopus. You're not talking to me, are you? Okay, let's go back. Hold on, chum. I'll get you out of there in a jiffy. Please do, Chief Inspector. <laughs> Sorry about that, Detective. Remind me, I have to get that thing fixed. Indeed you do, Chief Inspector. Indeed you do. It's just your hat. There you go, old bean. Oh. Here, he did that. Okay, next page. Little monster, it's time for your nap. A nap? Oh, someone with a real little voice shouldn't be taking naps like that anymore. Detective Kerplopis and I went to bed for our nap. When suddenly something smacked into my bedroom my bed. door. 